Hello. I'm on a little river today that's only uh, 10 minutes away from home and uh, it's called the Blackwater and uh, it flows into a much more famous river further on down. Anyway, uh, I haven't been here since last winter and I thought I'd have a couple of hours spinning for perch. Um, I have a very light short spinning rod and I'm fishing with a little MEPS spoon and we'll see how I get on today. Anyway, hope you enjoy this. The rod I'm using is uh, seven foot long and I've uh, taken the barbs off of the hooks so as not to uh, damage the fish when I take the hooks out. Well, I caught a perch quite quickly, and it's only a small one. Uh, I like to get it back into water as quickly as possible. It's a river with very high banks, so it's uh, very important to have a landing net with a very long handle. Uh, otherwise, it's best not to uh, try to catch a fish if you can't get the net to it. There's a lot of uh, Himalayan balsam along the river. It's a pretty flower but it's a very invasive species and will have to be removed one day. Well here's another little perch that I've caught. I pick it up carefully because they've uh, got quite prickly spines, dorsal spines, and there's also two very sharp uh, spikes behind their gills which you have to be careful of. So this one is going back now. Then, to my surprise, I caught uh, quite a large pike for this river. It was uh, 24 inches long, um, so it weighed a few pounds. Uh, anyway, that was quite a nice surprise. I returned the pike to the water and it swam off quite uh, happily into the weeds. In fairly still water it pays to return the fish with a bit of a splash because it uh, shocks them into uh, moving off quickly. Well there are all sorts of interesting things to see when you go fishing. I think this is a damselfly. Several interesting butterflies earlier and a kingfisher. Fishing's not all about catching fish, it's about communing with nature. Goodbye for now.